look like it did in the race? Well, yeah, it was an amazing race. Uh, you know, the pace was uh, outstanding. I think that we were all the riders on the limit. And yeah, at the beginning I tried to, well, I did a, a bad start and then from that point I tried to recover positions. And, and yeah, I tried to manage a little bit the first two laps and then I tried, tried to, to, to bring back my, my pace and finally I wasn't able to win, but I'm so happy of second position in front of, of my, my first opening. So, you know, happy with the performance and hopefully tomorrow we can battle for the victory. Congratulations. Yeah, kept his cool under difficult circumstances. He didn't make one of his trademark brilliant starts, did he? Uh, from that second place on the grid, Jorge Martin. He was as low as fourth place at one point. But Jorge Martin fights his way through to second place. There he is on the 89 machine. He said pre-weekend here in Sepang, one of his big goals was to lead the World Championship going to Qatar. Well, that's still very much game on, but it was a stunner in Sepang. Your sprint winner here on Super Saturday, Alex Marquez with Simon. Alex, that was a stunning and dominant ride, and it was no fluke. You, your pace, you've looked amazing all weekend. Please give us your thoughts. Yeah, I mean, uh, today was in a mission, I mean, and the mission was to win this three spin race. I know that for tomorrow we have a better chance because it looks like uh, on the race pace we are really good on FP3. Uh, we were like this, but I didn't expect in a sprint to make that difference, honestly. I was expecting to be with the top riders, to be with uh, Jorge, especially a little bit also Peco, but Peco is struggling a little bit more. So yeah, I did uh, everything in the perfection time, everything uh, perfect, so really happy on this. Uh, I mean, we were struggling in the last races, I mean, uh, we were, uh, but the, the people don't forget, don't forget that we were injured, we were coming back, and now we're here, so now we need to keep the level like this until Valencia. Huge congratulations. Thank you. Always great to see that big beaming smile back on the face of Alex Marquez. That was some sprint show, wasn't it? Uh, from the 27-year-old Spaniard, who did say once he was back to full fitness, he feels like he's cracked the puzzle, particularly on breaking and corner entry on that Ducati. And this was the key moment. He was not thinking about the World Championship for no. one jot, was he, in that race. He was very aggressive early on with Jorge Martí, and that was the beautifully executed move on the inside of Pekka Banyaya into turn number nine. As the sprint podium celebrations get underway then here at the Sepang International Circuit. And ominously for Alex Marquez's rivals, he said he expected to be stronger tomorrow than he was in the sprint this afternoon. So it's taken him by surprise this afternoon to, like to come home with the victory here. A victory that he took with relative comfort, didn't he? A second and a half clear of Jorge Martin in the end. For Pekka Banyaya, that is sprint podium number 13 in 17 sprints so far this year. But I'm not so sure that's the medal that he will treasure the most that he's achieved so far this year. Very polite young man is Pekka Banyaya, but it was pretty clear from his words in his body language there that he was not too chuffed with third place. By contrast, Jorge Martin, very rare to see him so happy with second, but he certainly will be today because he's gained points in the championship. But the big winner, the sprint winner today for the second time in 2023, Alex Marquez. And he tells us to expect even better tomorrow. So Alex Marquez takes the chequered flag, nearly 1.6 seconds clear for Jorge Martin at the end of the Sepang Tiso sprint. We get to do it all over again tomorrow, over double the distance and possibly double the drama once again. 20 laps, 3 p.m. local time will be the Petronas Grand Prix of Malaysia. As there is still nothing between the top two men in this world championship, it's very much a story of Banyaya versus Martin. The gap down to just 11 points as we move into tomorrow's Malaysian Grand Prix. 
Six wins to four on Sundays for Bang Yaya. 